Hello, I'm back. <laughs> I'm I'm a giant hill stream loach. Hello. <laughs> How's everyone doing? I'm doing okay. <laughs> I have had to move my desk and everything backwards because I found a leak in my window and uh, it's Storm Babbitt at the moment. So <laughs> having fun with that. Uh, the leak isn't too bad, but that is uh, why I'm a little bit late today. But let's do some oxygen not included. Well, we can. Do -do 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 -do. Right. Um, I know I said I was going to look at pip ranches and stuff before I came back. Um, and I didn't really have time to do so. So maybe we're going to work through it a little bit together today. We'll see. What are you guys up to? It is night time. That is fine. Who are you fleeing from? Leofar is fleeing from a poke shell. Oh my god, look at Leofar's face. It's kind of funny. Hmm. Oh yeah, you're trying to dig all this stuff. Oh yeah, it looks like you have actually taken some damage. Poke shell has succeeded in defending themselves. Uh, I don't think this is really necessary, to be honest. Oh, you're taking the molts. Oh, no wonder he's getting all protective. Look, he's... Yeah, he's uh, very eager to uh, attack someone. Oh, you're digging the plant? Are you digging the plant? There's two of them. Uh-oh. <laughs> he's going for him. Soil Eater is here temporarily, uh, just because of morale reasons, and because we kind of run out of stuff for them to do on the planet. I guess we can get rid of that water weed, that's fine. Yeah, they're kind of just vibing at the moment. Uh, I think we wanted to just keep letting this salt water out of here. So I think you can just dig this out as well, and then this, and then you'll be done. Seems fine. Yeah, um, at first we thought the water leak was because of the builders, but it, it's not. It's just because of how the windows were designed. And we haven't actually had like a real storm <laughs> here yet. So we've discovered that. We're going to up the priority on getting our windows replaced. Because that was on the list of things to do anyways. But now it's going to go higher in the list now that we're aware that it's a possibility. So yeah, we're fine. We got some blueprints. It's in the pod. What we got? We got the Team Captain Shorts. I don't think that really matters. I uh, recorded the new Sandbox Showcase video earlier, which is why we got all of our blueprints in a row. Because we've already been playing this game. Solid Blue. Do I already have that one? If not, that's a pretty good one to have. Let's check. We do. Okay, that's fine. Well, we can uh, refund it. We can refund the blueprint anyways, like a a duplicate, the new update. There we go. So now we can print something that's worth 200. I'm not sure what that would actually be. It occurs to me I could print the black wallpaper. A solid black. It might be worth doing. These ones here are 400 as well. It's pretty funky. I don't really get it. Ooh, I, li I like the blue uh, stripes as well. These are very, these are very fancy. Oh, they're too expensive though. Yeah, that makes sense. The cloud print. Yeah, these ones are all super expensive. That does make sense. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> we'll leave that for another day. So we're continuing to drain all the salt water from this ocean. We're going to leave this until last. There's more to grab from up here as well, so maybe that will be next. You can grab these bits as well. Yeah, go ahead and do these. So the first thing I want to do today is make another spawn. I'm literally just going to make another block of two with a ladder in between and just make it completely independent from this one. Uh, so we can start laying that out, that's fine. Uh, this is all priority eight, let's make this priority nine digging. And then we'll just get that set up. Uh, last time we got the we got the kitchen set up. Well, no, we got the kitchen set up a, a, a little while ago. Uh, we got the Dreco Drowner set up, so now our Drecos are being managed properly under the supervision of the Smug Pit. 
I don't know why the pip's so smug. We're going to start drowning pips eventually as well. Yeah, really happy with how this room has ended up. Uh, we should have a... Oh, yeah, look. We got the glossy dracklets. They're here. We emptied this room specifically so we could put them in. So let's wrangle these dudes and get them up and running. Get some plastic at last. That'd be nice. Yes, mucho appreciado. So we've got plenty of mealwoods. Uh, how much food are we actually producing now? We're, we're producing a fair bit now. We've got the gristle berries online as well. I could probably start removing some of these mealwoods. I'll wait a little bit longer though. Is this priority nine? Uh, yeah, this is prioritized properly. That's fine. I think everyone's just on break at the moment. Let's speed to it. Let's speed to it and get this second spawn working. Because we're going to start printing more dupes soon. And then the next thing to do is probably actually... Once we get a little bit of plastic, is to sort this. Oh, I know what we were going to do. We were going to do a crying crab. We were going to try that out. Because I've never tried out that build. I like that idea. Yeah, remove these ladders. And we'll put a crying crab over here. We'll use that to cool down some of this hydrogen. I mean, it's still absorbing a fair bit of heat from over here as well. Uh, we can prioritize digging all of this stuff out. Yeah, set this to priority nine. You guys are coming in here with suits. I want to get this vent. I want to get this vent actually tamed. Uh, we don't need insulated tile here. This should have just been ladder to begin with. So we'll just remove these quickly. And ladder these. You guys are being nice and quick now. That's good. And put those in. Exceptionally speedy work from the puffed suit gang. Uh, but yeah, the sandbox showcase video I just did was about some rocket interiors. I'm going to make a couple of rocket related videos. Um... I basically just the two builds that I already had blueprinted up, so I just wanted to show them off. One of them was for just collecting orbital data with the small nose cone, and then the other was for getting the morale high ground achievement. But there's lots of stuff to do with rockets, so looking forward to doing that. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to dig out all this stuff as well now. We're going to want to clear this out eventually, and I just want more space for the hydrogen at the moment. So yeah, you can dig all of this out. That should be fine. We'll just keep all this bit separate. Uh, so that's... Let's make that digging party 8. Set this construction to party 9. We have 11 dupes now. How many dupes do we have with suit training? 3. Okay. Probably start putting in some more suit docks as well. So let's make that... Are these made out of iron? They are made out of iron. We'll, we'll keep making these out of iron. Let's just put another one there. And another one there for now. Yeah, those are all already hooked up. That's fine, I guess. Yeah, we'll leave that for now. Wire-wise... I can go here. Doing the power overhaul would be a good idea at some point, but this needs to come first. So dig this out as well. Let all the sand down here. You can see our oxygen generation is insufficient. Also, sorry for coughing a little bit. I think I'm a bit ill, but I might just be tired. Are you just leaving all the... Oh, God, you're just leaving all the meal lice here. Right, you know what? Let's stop the meal lice. Like, like, screw this. If it's all rotting on the ground anyways, because it's not getting auto-swept, just stop it. We are at the point where we've got enough critters. We'll have enough critters producing meat and food. Just leave it. What's in the pod? Uh, pip eggs, we're going to go for these because I'm going to do pips soon, TM. 
I could just start doing them now. I'm going to get the spawn done first. Yeah, keep digging this out. There is actually a load of oxygen over here, but this is all still covered with slime lung. I should probably just put some deodorizers somewhere to help get rid of that. Uh, you know what? Let's put a deodorizer here. I'm not going to put too many down. I just want a couple at different spots just to start chipping away at it. I'm not sure what I'm ultimately going to put in these gaps, but that's fine. So I can go there. Right, and as for the pipes, so the oxygen is going this way, which is obviously not going to work. Let's actually future-proof this first and send it like this over the top. Yeah, get that all built first, then we'll move these pipes. This is all the cooled oxygen. I realize it's actually dissipating most of the cooling in here at the moment. That's not really what we want either. We don't want it right next to the cool steam vent. I think in terms of the coolant pipes, we are just going to keep running it past here for now. Uh, we need to replace this with... We need to replace this with radiant pipe that's actually going to cool this stuff pretty well. So, you know what? We're fairly low on... Oh, God, look at that. We've got 400 kilograms of tile of hydrogen in here. Okay, here's what we do. So, we put a ladder here. We open up these bits at the bottom on yellow alert. Uh, actually, let's, let's leave this till later. You guys can go have a break first, and then you can come back and do this. And then we'll just immediately replace all of this with radiant piping. We did not have any refined metal at the time we were doing this. Uh, now we're going to at least replace it with lead. Uh, so that one, that one, that one. There's all this stuff in here. And we'll, and we'll build the new one with the same stuff. Now, in terms of gases, there are a few blobs of polluted oxygen in here. And another thing to bear in mind is that the oxygen here contains slime lungs, so we will want to vent that so it doesn't go into the base. So we'll vent both of these. We'll activate these. Let's actually just... Let's see. Yeah, just open these up. We'll turn these off. That should turn them off for now. Yeah, so let's turn off the electrolyzers. That's good. Normally I have a manual switch for this, but I think I think that's okay. In terms of construction, that could be priority nine. That could be priority nine as well. Uh, actually, make this priority eight. Make this priority eight. I basically just want to let the hydrogen keep expanding out of here for now. So let's set this priority eight. Just dig that stuff. There's actually a little bit of water in here and some algae interesting yeah just do that for now there's some granite in that gap that'll be okay uh make sure that's yeah make sure that's priority eight you guys gonna have your food yeah we'll get rid of the meal lice now we'll just start setting up some proper farms we'll do that in the pit branches we've got a decent stockpile of food for now um All that meal ice is just down there. I think I just need to sweep all of the meal ice. So... This is 
for edibles. I think we... I think that's potentially what I do with this. Yeah, we put meal ice in there and we put allow manual use. So you should start bringing all that stuff in there. Hello, Dead IXL. How you doing? It is Friday. It's the weekend. It has been a week. <laughs> it has been a week. I repositioned the desk just in case any more water leaks out of the windows. I don't think it will, but this storm has exposed some serious flaws with this house that we need to rectify sooner rather than later. But not going to stop us from streaming for now. Yeah, we've got lots of pips now. That's good. Do you just want to sort out this oxygen situation? Let's actually start planning out this. I am just going to make it completely independent. So that can go like that. We'll put a ladder in there. That can just go down here. It's fine. And then I'll start building all this stuff in here as well. And we'll remove these gas pipes in a minute. Hello, Charmich. Hope you're doing okay. I am doing okay. We're, we're making it through the week. It's going to be a very busy weekend, but that's fine. So put the airflow tiles in here as well. That is still insulated tile, that's fine. Electrolyzers, yes. Uh, oh, that was the other thing I was going to do. I was going to replace the electrolyzers. Oh, my windows get fixed soon, lol. Yeah, me, me too. We do have a quote from someone to do it. We were just kind of putting it off until after the wedding. Uh, but I think we're moving it to f before the wedding now. Slightly has the situation. So we have some steel. We want to make the electrolyzers out of steel now so we can pump in the hot water. Uh, that does mean we're going to have to get in here somehow to replace these. It's going to be very annoying with all this hydrogen in here. Now here's a question. Hydrogen pipes here... Those never actually led anywhere. I sure hope my skylight doesn't start leaking. It's right above my bed. Nice. Yeah, that would be bad. At least the fish tank isn't leaking. Right. How are we going to get in here to change these electrolyzers without leaking out all this hydrogen? We're going to have to make a liquid lock of some kind, I think. Is uh, we didn't have any ref we didn't have any steel when we built these, but I want to replace it now so that we can actually pump hot water in, and so it won't overheat. Is there a way that I can just do it through the liquid? I might have to do that. Let's see. Let's... Okay, let's do things one at a time. Let's get over this pipe so that's all done first. Because we need to replace this pipe and then we need to purge these rooms of slime lung if there is any. It doesn't look like there is. It looks like the polluted oxygen generally stays towards the bottom. Oh, we'll see about that though. You know, I have 800 tons of magma in one tile that I'm slowly using for power. Nice. Very good. Where are you guys coming? Yeah, you're here. Uh, let's build a, let's build another two Atmo suits and put them in here as well. So, two more suits, please. Let's make these out of iron. Yeah, go for it, my dudes. Soil Eater is doing some help over here now. I think we used up most of our usefulness on the other asteroid. But we'll, we'll send it back in a bit. Right. 
There we go, that's all good. So that doesn't actually release the liquid in this pipe, just changing it between pipe types. So that's nice. So then we'll need to do that. Uh, you'll have left a little bit of material in here. You know what? That's fine. That's just fine. It is completely clean oxygen here, so the slime lung should die. But I might not actually need to vent that. Oh, that doesn't need to be yellow alert anymore. There you go. So yeah, keep building all of this, and then we'll figure out what to do with this. Yeah, that's all party 8 as well. That's fine. Carbon dioxide is building up down here already. Oh, God. Jordan Bennett. Right, let's save the game. And let's try and get a dude in here to replace this electrolyzer. So I think if we do this, some of the water will run out, but not all of it. We should be left with enough water that we can just replace the electrolyzer. Why did I think that would work? <laughs> the hydrogen is all coming out of here. Great. Okay. Uh, let's see. I mean, in fairness, we are pumping all the hydrogen up out here. All right. Serious question. Do we just leak all the excess hydrogen from here because we're pumping it and we're going to collect it eventually anyways? <laughs> I kind of think we do, because then it will push all the polluted oxygen down. That might make it a bit easier to handle. Go for it. You know what? I'm going to go for it. Let's let's have some fun. <laughs> let's have some fun. We'll let the hydrogen out. We. Uh, so open this up. We'll probably want to put a bit more water in here again. So we can just sweep some of this up and just dump it. And then we'll replace that with a steel one. So that needs to be a priority nine. Look at that nice healthy cloud of hydrogen. Again, I believe slime lung does actually die in hydrogen. So let's see. The oxygen has slime lung on it here. Dying in oxygen, 29% dead per cycle, and then current temperature is also quite cool. I think we just meant it though. There's not a huge amount of oxygen here. Yeah, we just we we just meant it. There you go. Oh, right, the vents are overpressure. Whoops. Yeah, that's not going to work. We're going to need some high-pressure vents now if we're going to let all the hydrogen out. Right, that's been built. Uh, let us prioritize this so we can just dump a little bit more water in there very quickly. At least we don't have to worry about this getting contaminated because there's so much hydrogen pressure here. No other gas is ever going to end up in there. Good sign. We might even end up with hydrogen in these rooms. We don't have to vent this. That would be nice. Uh, you know what? You can also make this wire out of lead. Yeah, that's fine. You're done with that. So take this. Move this up here. Do that on a yellow alert. Uh, if we're actually going to do this, we need to build that tile and then remove this. But this needs to be yellow alert as well. Because I want you to do this before we go to bed. Not sure how successful we're going to be. We'll see. So glad we have these big liquid locks. Yeah, oxygen generation is way down. Alright, who's doing this then? Frankie, is that you? That is you. 
It's fine. Nope. You've decided against it. You've decided you're hungry. Unacceptable. You've earned a skill point. That's acceptable. Uh, you can have digging. You can have splying. There you go. Frankie's got 40 morale. Look at that. Yeah, you guys do have the proper rec room now. That makes sense. Yeah, Soil Eater's got the goods. Because I worry that if we have too little water in here, it's just gonna... It's just gonna pop. I guess Neo is gonna come do this. Hmm. Doing this now just to try and minimize the chance that we get a non hydrogen bit in here. Right. Liquid water. That's what we want. <laughs> uh, so now you can rebuild these. Let's just make those party nines. That's fine. So yeah, now we've got rid of the... Let's see, where's all the meal ice gone then? Can you sweep all the meal ice up? No. Uh, not allowed by schedule. That's fine. Oh, well, Frank, hope you're doing well. I'm doing all right. So I'm not going to lie, I kind of like having the fish tank being a bit bigger in the image than before. I've temporarily moved my desk forward a bit. Because of <laughs> water leakage. But I might keep it this way. I don't know. Yeah, still got hydrogen here. That's all good. Get that polluted oxygen out of here. And then we're just going to open this one up too. That's fine. In fact, if we're going to do that, can I actually just open this up? I mean, I guess if we do that, all well, the hydrogen is just going to escape immediately. So maybe if I do these two... No, if I do that one, all the oxygen is going to escape. Let's try this one. There's definitely a way we can do this without leaking the hydrogen, but we're literally leaking the hydrogen out so that we've got more of it over here. Because we're going to pump it all up eventually for power. Why not just flood the entire map with hydrogen? <laughs> we're not exactly short on power. Sometimes you've just got to do something for the meme. Provided it's not going to actually wreck the run. Yeah, so all the hydrogen pressure will force us out here. We should still end up with a decent amount left over. And then we can just replace this without leaking any liquids. That makes way more sense. If we really wanted to not leak this, we could have just put some naphtha down. Uh, block the access shaft. We do actually have... Plastic. Still maxing out on hydrogen despite losing super sustainable. Well, I mean, to be honest, we're maxing out on breathing. The hydrogen is just a byproduct. We just need that much oxygen. But, uh... I'm not going to say no to free hydrogen. Uh-oh. Oh, we definitely didn't want to remove that tile. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. That's the one that stops this from uh, breaking. Well, that's a reload. <laughs> hmm. Alrighty. Fish update? Fish update. How are the fishies? It's weird looking at them from this angle. They're alright. Whiskers. Do you want to come say hi, Whiskers? Then get a bit more of a close-up view than usual. No, you just rather just sit there farting. That's fine. Already. Hopefully we didn't uh, lose too much progress on that. Oh, right, we're still doing this. Okay, that's fine. Um, so we need, to, we need to leave this here to make this room work. You're saving up for a, real, uh, a, re a name a real fish redeem thing, lol. Very good. 
That's what I like to see. So if we're going to get in here then, I think what makes sense is to just actually remove this tile and then remove these two and then climb in here like that. Yes. Uh, yes, yeah, so you can empty that. That's okay. Although, actually, no, you need to do this first. Yep. Let's actually pay a slight amount of attention. Good job, Leofar. Frankie, you can have that skill point again. Here you go. I was on 42, Marat. Well, there you go. Right, so if I set this to yellow alert, Wolfrag is going to come do that now. That's fine. And we have still replaced the electrolyzer, so that's good. That's why we made all that steel, so that we could finally have steel electrolyzers, and now we can finally pump the, the really hot water into there. We needed to do this at some point, so why not do it today? When did I bring the soil eater home? Uh, last stream, they were getting kind of low on morale, and we needed more labor over here for whatever we were doing, so I just thought, my, it's time. You can go back eventually. Wolfrag is currently having a lot of soda. That's fine. You guys definitely need to do a debris sweep at some point. How the glossy drip goes. Here they are. They're tiny babies. Tiny babies. They're very happy. Uh, we got some more Dracos in here. We've still got 17 Dracula eggs in here. How's that happening? It should all be going up here now. Uh, do I literally need to grab all of these and dump them in here? Oh, I think this just needs to be powered. Does this need to be powered? You're on break. Wake up. Wake up and dump the remaining eggs in here, please. No pending deliveries. Right, so I think we do need to power this then. There you go. No. Set the sweep only? This is set the sweep only. Right. <sighs> Alright. Oh, wait. I don't want to just sweep only this whole bit. This is just recycling all the eggs now. That's not what we want. <laughs> That's not what we want. Okay, fine. Look, we'll do it. Wrangle you. And then... How many Draco eggs we got? 17. It's gonna take a while. I think there was a hotkey for this, but I've forgotten what it is. I'm using the better tooltips mod. I think that affects that. There you go. Uh, let's continue with this again. Uh, so we dump the water in here. The water has slime lung in it. Excellent, good job. Uh, that can be there. And do this. And then I'll just need to... Oh, that... The polluted oxygen is going to get in here if we do this, though. Hmm. There's a whole layer of it up here. I can't do both of these or all the liquid will go. I think we're just going to have to do it like this. And we're, ha we're going to have to put a ladder there temporarily so we can actually get in. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, this is set to party nine. That's fine. Let's get this done before I forget about it. Ladder here. Yeah, deconstruct that. What's in the pod? Final, final pod reward. Uh, petal diagonal, pink, stripe. You know, we might actually use that. That's not bad. Yep, there we go. We're going to think we might not have needed to remove that tile. If I put that back now, that might actually delete the gas. Oh, no, it won't. There's some gas over here. Ooh. Ooh, hiss. I think you can still reach this from there. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. We didn't need to remove that one at all. Okay. So there's a tiny bit of oxygen up here. We'll need to vent that. You're grabbing all the seeds. Are you actually going to grab all the mealwoods? All the meal ice? That is kind of what I wanted you to do. I feel like you might be grabbing a few of them. Okay. Well, it's better than nothing. All right, that's been built. So now just tile this up and then tile this up. And then I just need to vent this. And there's not a lot of hydrogen. Oh, there is still a load of hydrogen left in. Yeah, grumble, grumble. Maybe it will vent quickly. We'll see. I mean, we need the high pressure vents on this for it to work. Hmm. Alright, just keep working on that. Yeah, you're still fertilizing all of this. That's good. So each of these plants grows in six cycles and produces 1,600 calories of these. That turns into... turns into 2,000 calories of gristleberry. So 2,000 calories over six cycles. That's actually 2,000 calories over three cycles because of the fertilizer. We've got 16 plants. So that's 32,000 calories every three cycles. Which is actually enough food for all these dupes. But if we get any more, we'll need some more food. The miracle of fertilizer. Right, that's been finished. Let's disable these. What's the slime lung situation like? Is this cool? Has this died off yet? No, there's still a little bit left. So the question is, do we have any polluted oxygen in the base? A very, very small amount. I don't like those odds. I could stick a Weasel over here temporarily. Maybe we do that. The hydrogen, the hydrogen having slime like I don't care about. So these are disabled by automation grid because they've still got plenty of power. <sighs> yeah, maybe we just leave it like this and hope hope the oxygen just gets leaked out here when the when it goes in the pipe for the generator. We can just do that. Uh, so in terms of pipe, let's put the radiant pipe in here for the cooling as well. So I guess we'll make that lead again because we haven't really got anything better. That is going to split off and go here. This pipe full of water, I'm going to want to send this way. Uh, eventually I'll move this, but for now we can just leave it there. Oh, no, I'll move that now because we, we're, gonna, we're not going to want to bridge through that. Yeah. 
But cut that off. If I just put a little planter box over here. We put the weaswort here. Hopefully that radiation will be enough to coax the slimeling into just dying quickly. And yeah, someone should... Oh, you can't come to dig that because you're not allowed. Yeah, there you go. Right, did you drop off all those eggs? You did. That's good. Okay, just grab these two as well. Grabby grabby. Hydrogen plants will go up here. You know what? I think I'm just going to stick them like this and leave the middle bit completely free. free. We'll do something else for the vents. In fact, let's just remove these because the gas pressure is going to be too high out here for these to work anymore. You guys still on break? Yeah, you're still on break. That's all right. So yeah, lots of hydrogen up here now. This vent is going to go dormant in 6.3 cycles. That's good because we're not really clearing the space very effectively. I think I'm going to want to dig most of this space out just to let the gas disperse, but that can come later. Radiation? Yes. That was kind of expected. Oh, look, we've left some rock in here. That's fine. I don't care about that. Not anymore. Uh, let's remove this hydrogen generator and just stick it here as well. Right, that pipe is done. And it's empty, so... Cut, cut, cut. Cut, cut, cut. Connect this. Connect this. Um, We'll need to send the rest of it out somewhere else. But I think that just means I can remove all of this now. So let's do that. Fun. Hello, Whiskers. Hello, Whiskers. Look, we got a Whiskers. He's right there. Naughty fish. <laughs> right, let's stick this here. Yeah, aluminium is still fine for that. Why, well, I can just go here. And then I'll put the batteries for these ones somewhere else. Again, we can just make this with regular wire. That I think that's fine. There you go. Yeah, so now I think just get all this stuff done. Why do I have a... I don't have a construction task there, do I? No. That's fine. Why does this electrolyzer have a priority on it? It's kind of weird. So then gas pump. Why do I have an insulated pipe going here? Oh, that must have been where the oxygen used to be going. Whatever, that's staying there. <laughs> that is staying there. So this can come down here and go this way. And then this can come down here and go this way. 
and we'll just keep sending all of this through the keep sending all of this through the brine to cool it off as well and then what we'll actually want to do is we'll actually want to insulate this pipe because there's now cool steam erupting out so I probably should have told you to make the sav insulated pipe immediately I have, I have wasted all of your time ah uh, What's in the pod? Um, no mouth breathers. It was very difficult for me to not say no farters then because there was a farter. It's just force of habit at this point. We don't have any Sweetles. We have a sulfur geyser on the other planet. There's loads of Sweetles over there. Let's just grab the Oxalite. We're not actually producing any oxygen at the moment. What's the breathability like? I mean, there's a bit of spare oxygen running around the map, so we should be fine. You've done a pretty good job letting all this salt water out. There is more that we can harvest. So let's grab that as well. Grab all of that, you can. Interesting. There's some over here, but there's polluted water there as well. Let's dig this out. Yeah, come dig all this out as well. Seems fine. Got some more melting going on here. That's good. Uh, let's put the wheeze wart here. Is the slime lung still here? Has it already died? <laughs> I think it already died. That's good. I'll allow it. Uh, just put the wheeze wart back then. Aha. Oh well. So then we're going to want to tile this and this as well. And we're going to want to tile this. And then the radiant pipe is going to go through here. We'll make this out of aluminium ore again. Is this all ice? This is all ice. You know what? We'll dig it out. That's acceptable. I'm not going to be super precious about it this run. So that can all go there. Which means you'll dig this out as well. That's... Oh, you'll need to dig all this out as well. Yeah. So stick that there. And then... This could be insulated pipe as well. That can just go around the outside. Uh, so that... Where's that going to go? Probably makes sense to dedicate one to the ammo suits and one to the actual vents. So I think we just re re rearrange this pipe slightly. So we've got two bridges here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send both of these up. Instead of down. So that can go here. Yeah, that's fine. And then this can go... Hmm. Yeah, that's probably fine. And then we'll just... I'll hook it up in a minute. But I think what I'll do is this one will just go down here and then the other... And then this one will just lead over to these vents. Seems good. Right, you've got plenty of stuff to do. Just build everything. <laughs> just build everything. There's a minus 50 now. That's kind of funny. Oh, we got a load of liquid chlorine here. Fun. Um, did I intend to do that? I don't know. I guess it's keeping this all cool. That's good considering how much hot steam we're uh, producing over here. Yeah, it probably is helping to cool this water. Interesting. I'm definitely going to want to start grabbing this water. Also, this hydrogen vent is dormant. 
I think we actually need to prioritize these tiles just to make sure that we don't end up with non-hydrogen gas in here. So do that as well. Yeah, this is gonna take you. This is gonna take up your time for a while. It's probably good to get it done today. I'll leave the pips for next week. Yeah, no wonder Frankie's happy. He's the one doing all the cooking. He gets to stand on the carpet all day. So you grabbed all the meal ice. That's good. That's all stored up. Uh, you've grabbed some lettuce as well. That's pretty good. Definitely stick... We're not using lettuce to cook at the moment, so stick lettuce in here as well. And then we'll stick that in the freezer. Wait, here's some sweet sauce. What am I talking about? This cool salt slush geyser. Can I get that to come down here as well? That would be nice. Can anyone actually reach down here? That'd be interesting. Let's hope so. I've just given you guys like way too much stuff to do on Priority 9. To be fair, I don't actually mind the immediate order of which this is done. <sighs> I think... Oh, right. This needs to be done. Yep. That needs to be done, and we need the automation wire here. So just get up with these, and then the rest of it could be normal. Oh, look! They've got glossy Dracula balloons! Excellent. Good job. Celebrating the arrival of the glossy Dracos. And look! We've got our first lot of plastic. We've also got a load of chlorine in here because the gas pressure is not suitable anymore. Right. Uh, you know what that also means? Let's put some... While the chlorine is hanging around up here, let's actually put some farm tiles down here and get some salt lines going. Just for now. Yeah, and stick them right here. That seems good. You know what these two... You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Messing around with spawns is always a bit risky. Especially when you've got a colony full of mouth breathers. But now we can actually pump hot water in here and not be worried. Which is a big relief. Yeah, you've done those two. Plant some um, dash of salt lines. Or we'll probably do. And then that will start getting rid of all the chlorine. Because we did just dump a load of random chlorine over here. That is with the knowledge that we were going to do that later. Turner, I do not believe you're a construction specialist, are you? No, you have zero construction skill. That's going to hurt. Imagine getting an unconstructive skill, um, or a, a lower constructive skill dupe doing this, but I got the penalty. That'd be ridiculous. Right. It's all hooked up now. So let's reactivate these. And then these are set to the same thing, so this should all work again. Oh, we've got polluted oxygen here. Oh, that's not good. Wait, is this adding? Oh, that's adding to the oxygen here. Crap. <sighs> well, I do just want you to vent all this stuff then. That's irritating. I mean, we do have plastics. So we can make a high-pressure gas vent now. I think that's probably what we do. Yeah. 
So let's stick a high pressure vent here. But hold on, we have the plastic. You've been shaved. You've both been shaved. So where's the plastic? Hmm. Right, let's put that on the list as well. Well, <laughs> I don't know where it went. Is it still on the conveyor line? It could still be on a conveyor line. We sent this to everything. Oh, it's in here. Right. Just dump that for now so we can actually build something. Right, high pressure gas vent goes here. Because we need to get the uh, oxygen out of the hydrogen thing or this is going to keep causing issues. Yeah, these are growing. That's good. You can stick that back in there. Why is this backed up? Oh, this isn't hooked up to anything. That's a uh, odd one. There you go. And then this one's just full of... What? Rock? Why is this full of rock? Is that not hooked up? It's disabled by automation grid. Oh, hold on. Yeah, that's not right. <laughs> that's not right. That needs to go here. Yellow alert squad. You'll be fine. Uh, looks like I need a... Uh... Let another guy in here. Just for now. There shouldn't be any more eggs in here now. That's good. Right. So, vent has been built. Oh, right. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> the same issue. Yep, yep, yep. There you go. Yes, yeah, just keep venting this until all the other gases are gone. Right, that one's done. So that one can be disconnected from that. Oh, wait. It still needs to actually go in here. Yeah, there you go. Right, so now this can be turned on, at least. And this is working again. Good. Make some more oxygen. This is why I have them all independent, so if one breaks, I can just switch the other one on. How's this looking now? Yeah, that's emptying now. That's good. Wait. All that stuff's been dumped down there, and then these are set to specifics, so that should be fine. Okay. Good. That's okay. And you built that, so now this is active again. Uh, we're back to... We've got all the oxygen out of there, that's good. So now we can disconnect that, and then this can reactivate. Yeah, there we go. So this is all working again. There's no slime lung in here. No one's been exposed. So now you can just keep building all of this. Nice. Food is going down. We 
have loads of Dracos in here. Presumably you are shaving these guys. Oh, they're all babies. Okay, you don't need to shave any babies. That's fine. My phone is shut down. I see. Hmm. Neo, you can have exosuit training. That's okay. Right, you guys just need to build stuff. So, I'm going to be real. I'm just going to leave this in speed 2. And I'm going to go take a very short break and go find my phone charger. <laughs> and I'll be right back. But thanks for watching and uh, see you in a minute. Bye bye.
Alrighty, I'm back. Nobody died. Good sign. Oop. Yeah, I gave you a lot of stuff to do. Oh, well, you guys love building pipe. I mean, I guess it is insulated pipe, so it's going to take a bit longer as well. That's fine. You guys can dig all this too. And yeah, this is actually still erupting because we've got some random gases here. That's nice. Everyone's out in their suits. That suit doesn't have any oxygen. That's because... Yes, that's because we just turned them back on. That's fine. Uh... Yeah, I guess I'll remove this for now. Oh, that's right. We want an insulated pipe here, too. Hydrogen. There you go. Okay, that doesn't need to be yellow alert. Ha 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 ha. Right. Sort that out. Uh, you know what? That could be pretty annoying. Yeah, good point. What's in the pod? No more. No more guys. Ah, yes. Kitchen Menace. That's the trait that gives the morale bonus. I'll remember that. <laughs> I mentioned that trait in the video, but I just said, Ah, yes. That trait that increases food morale bonus. And now I can actually go back and call it Kitchen Menace again. One of the best traits. Because it's a positive that takes up the spot of a negative. Which is really odd. Uh, let's remove these two. The last prestiges of the of the morb hideout. We're gonna have to make a morb room. That's something else to do at some point. Sertor, you can have suit training. There you go. Good job. I'm gonna need some more batteries for these. You know, I kinda like what we've got going on here. I think I, I know this is a little bit messy with just the wires, but we're gonna we're gonna I think we're literally just gonna put the two batteries up here and the two smart batteries up here again. I think those are iron. And then <laughs> that wire does not need to go like that. A doesn't need to go like that, and B doesn't need to be made out of iron. So let's make some lead wires. And We'll just have one go over here, and then one can go here. And then this wire can go here. And then this wire can just go here. There you go. That will work. And we need to vent all these rooms out again. That's fine. The soda. I'm really glad the soda fountain is actually being used properly now. That was annoying me. I like the Jukebot. Jukebot is a pretty cool guy. How's chlorine going? Yeah, we're eating the chlorine. We've got some salt vines developing. That's good. <laughs> yeah, we, we did let a little bit of chlorine out. That's fine. I'll have to go find random bits of it once these salt vines are done. And get rid of them. Food poisoning? Eating a germ covered water. Where? We don't have a water cooler anymore, do we? Oh, probably this. Is this germy water? No. Somehow. Somehow the water was fine. Yeah, keep going with all this. You can still access all of this. Are there any other spots I want to put Nash's salt vines? We do have a few extra seeds available. Uh, I could probably do with putting one over here. 
Yeah, here you go. No, stop running. Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. Oh, this is where all the bleach stone is. Oh, I see. We need to put an actual storage bin down here, don't we? Yeah. Make that priority nine. Uh, deconstruct this. Yep. Hmm. I wonder who our next dupe will be. Do we still have any dupes with regular names? Yeah, we have a Frankie, we have a May, we have a Turner that all need names. Yeah, Radiant Gas Pipe, the Burr. Literally. So I'll need to build this one as well. And now we can just hook this up here. Okay, well, that can all be insulated pipe. That's fine. And then this could just go in here. Oh, actually, that's all fine. I don't even need to worry about that tile. Yeah, just remove the abyssal light. I'll do. Make that priority nine. And I need to put bleach stone in here, obviously. And I need to put polluted dirt in here. And rock piles. There you go. I'll tell you what, the first thing I'm doing tomorrow morning is I'm cleaning out this fish tank. Because it's just been a little bit too long and I've kept meaning to do it and other stuff has kept happening. I was going to do it this afternoon and then the whole thing with the windows. Right, let's set these settings here. Oh, wait, I want these all turned off to start with. Set these all to below zero to start with. Uh, you may as well build these two. It's fine. Uh, we can now remove these pipes. Let's do that. I love how this pipe just snakes over here because it used to be relevant and now it isn't. Now let's manage to get down here. There is still oxygen. Oh, this is unreachable. Oh, ice melted. I see. Okay. Uh, this needs to be a party 9 too then. It's fine. And you know what? I'm going to put some insulated tile here just because we've got the, the steam vent here. We probably don't want that steam getting anywhere near this pipe. Uh, oh, we need some more snazzy suits, don't we? Hold on. We've got one here. Do we just need one more? Yeah, for Turner. Okay, good. How's Reed Fiber doing? We're on 53. Okay, that's pretty good. We don't have a fashionated dupe. Oh, wait, we do. No, we don't. <laughs> we don't because blah, 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 Wolfreg doesn't have aesthetic design. So I guess that's what we'll give you next. You've ended up being lumped into this role. Where am I even going to put that? Um... Oh, is there room for it here? It's a bit of a silly place for it, but it is available. It's not like we're going to be using it all the time anyways. Yeah, and it is short enough. And if I stick it here, I can have the motion sensor there. Yeah, I like that. This is going to be a cold room as well. 
So that's fine. That can go there. Motion sensor here. Automation wire. Or M. We need to get the chlorine out of here. This isn't helping these Dracos. There you go. And then power. Uh, we'll just hook this up to the conductive wire. That's fine. Well, I've got 25. Oh, fuck's sake. These Dracula eggs are getting resorted back into here, aren't they? Uh, yeah, this should not be set to critter eggs. That's what's been happening this whole time. Right, okay. <laughs> right, look, I'm just gonna do this right. I'm just gonna. Don't mind me. Now 25 Draco eggs and tw and two glossy Draco eggs in here. And again, if there's a quick way of doing this, please let me know. Because I'm sure there is, and I'm sure I've forgotten it. Right, that's all of them, right? Yeah. Right, do that. Uh, how many guys are in here now? Yeah. Wrangle these dudes. You guys not getting dumped in here? No, because we need to set this back to two. So at the moment we are grabbing babies. Please do not drop the eggs in random places because you're suffocating. It's going to happen, isn't it? Let's see, any random Draco eggs anywhere? Doesn't immediately seem like it. Right, you grab those two. So this room should be on 7 out of 7 once the EFR gets here. And then I can just set this back to 2. And then you should start grabbing the regular Dracos again. That's fine. Did you do all this digging? You did. Actually, that's pretty good. There's still salt water over here. Oh, this is all germy water. Oh, I see. We got germs in the salt water. That would explain the, the illness. Wolfrag earned a skill point. That's relevant. So we just need you to build this machine, and then we can get the Primo Garb. Now, what Primo Garb is everyone going to wear? An exciting moment. So exciting, I almost broke a glass. That would have been fun. I do like the classic cummerbunds, it must be said. So it's three reed fiber each. We have definitely enough reed fiber to do this, so let's actually undress everyone. Um yeah, I said that. Do 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 do. Everyone stop what you're doing immediately and Get naked. That smug pip statue is so good. Wait, no, not the suit. <laughs> okay, that one's on me. Right. Uh, yeah, go deliver that suit back. <laughs> Neo, where'd you go? Oh, you're gonna get scolded, aren't you? 
Where are you? Oh, you're gonna get slime lung. Ah, oh, no. Get out of here, get out of here. Boo. <laughs> Boo hiss. Medium exposure. Ooh, I don't know about that. The risk of waking up sick on the next shift. Exposure. Yeah. Great, good job. Exposure, exposure, minus three. How interesting. Well, we do have a sick bay, but we don't have a dupe with the ability to make medical packs. But who's the doctor? The soil eater is the doctor. They're getting close to a skill point. Well, that's fine. You can have building. May can have building. I feel like we are going to end up with a slime lung mouth breather, and that's going to be very annoying. Uh, let's put a dash of salt vine on here. Grab the rest of this chlorine. This should all eventually get filtered out by these. I think. Except for this. And then... I think we are actually fine. I need to build some storage with at some point. Not the most important thing in the world. Unfortunately, your dupes cannot avoid getting sick by just not sleeping. Right, what do you think, Neo, sir? What, Neo? Oh, okay, you're fine. Oh, wait. You need other quick clothing as well. Someone's still wearing one. Uh, let's go around and check everyone. Let's see. Where does it say what you're wearing again? Definitely says somewhere. Maybe not. Oh, I guess I'll say if they are the one wearing clothes. Yeah, okay, so let's do that. Yeah, I think you're all fine. Yep, okay, right. So let's make these 11 Primo garbs. What is everyone going to wear? What is an appropriate outfit for... A mouth breather. Hmm. You know what? Let's give everyone confetti suits. They're somewhat blue. I don't tend to get people to wear these. So let's do it this time. Turner has earned a skill point. Excellent. You can have farming them. How's this all going? Yeah, that's all going fine. You can't get over here to dig. Why not? Oh, right, the Abyss Light. Yep, that is fine. Dig that out. You're all in suits now, so you should be able to do this without any problems. So let's actually get you to dig all of that as well. That way, all this water should drain down into here. Uh, this needs to be Friday 9 as well. That needs to go here, so you can actually build that. It's fine. There we go! We got Wolfrag on the thing, although sadly out of breath. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll definitely need a vent over here.
We want the oxygen to flow up here, but it's just not going to really, is it? Okay, let's fix that. Let's put a vent there. And then let's just stick a gas pipe. We'll just stick it over here. That should be fine. And then you can just dig... You can just dig this out. Then you can get in here. The other rooms are better, but yeah, there's never going to be any oxygen getting here. And I might even just put a vent here as well. Imagine that. Mm. GC Fungus! Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? What have you been up to tonight? Tell me all about it. We are playing Oxygen Not Included. We are doing Arboreal Airheads, and we've got our squad of mouth breathers who are doing their best to just waste as much oxygen as possible. You spent three hours wild farming. Very nice. Is this still for your luxury uh, hotel? I need to watch that on YouTube. That's on my list of things to do when I actually have time to watch YouTube again. Uh, let us give you a shout out. It is the fungus himself. The fungi. Very, very accomplished oxygen not included gamer. <laughs> Let's have a fish update. How are the fish doing? I've had to... Oh, there we go. Lovely. Whiskers just gave everyone a nice big fart. Excellent. Good job, Whiskers. Uh, so, we have had to move our desk because my windows have started leaking tonight. So that's been fun. But yeah, fish are having fun. What's in the pod? Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Uh, any more mouth breathers? No? Good. We'll take some fried mushroom. That sounds good. So actually going to go in the auto sweeper. Yes. <laughs> We've got a very hungry sage hatch who's not allowed to eat anything. Yep, in the meantime, Frankie is just cooking all the food. Uh, we did get rid of all our mealwoods. We have some bristle blossoms up here that are now getting uh, they're now getting fed this water, and then we're cooling them on this big hydrogen pipe that's also cooling the draco mealwoods. So that's fun. Uh, but what we're working on today is mostly just expanding the spawn. We had one spawn over here uh, that was working fine, but now we've got eleven mouth breathers on this planet. And each mouth breather requires, like, well, a spawn satisfies 4.4 mouth breathers. So, we're going to need a another few. So, we've built all this stuff now. Let's actually start sealing this off. I think everything is done in here. I need to put these tiles in here. And I need to actually fill these with liquids. But we'll fill those with liquids in a minute. In terms of pipes... Uh, let's build some regular... Let's build some insulated pipe here. This is for the cooling loop that's going to help cool all of our hot oxygen. Because the, wa the, the water goes in and the oxygen comes out at about 70C. So we need to cool all that down. We've got a cool salt slush geyser here that we're using to cool everything down with. And we're also sending the oxygen past this and some radiant gas pipes. We built this before we had any refined metal. So we... We did this just to be safe, because you can build radio radiant gas pipe out of aluminium ore. Which is not too bad. So yeah, you can build that. I don't think you have too many errands left to do, so you should actually get on this stuff fairly quickly. Let's speed to it again. Um, we recently got all this Drekker stuff finished. So, um, <laughs> having watched GC Fungus' uh, video tutorial on Drekos, I put in this little flooded critter drop off. So we are dropping off all the excess critters after they're shaved and they're going in here and getting drowned. So we're getting loads of reed fiber. We've got our first primo garb. Where is that? Oh, that's been shoved over here as well. We're going to give someone the confetti suit. Let's give Wolfrag the first confetti suit because they're the one making all of them. You're going to come over here? What are you up to, Wolfrag? You're on the phone. That's fair enough. You need to loo. Perhaps I should put in another bathroom somewhere. Where would I put that? Probably put that down here. And then maybe another shower as well. Yeah, that's certainly possible. I need to actually lower these oxyferns at some point. They've been hanging around here this whole time. 
Um, some of the carbon dioxide is landing in here, which is good, but really I should put that at the bottom of the base. <laughs> Having said, I don't know where that is. These pips have just been hanging out here forever. I don't know why. They can move. They've just been choosing not to. They, I guess they just like it down here in their cozy little nook with the, the mirth leaf they planted. These pips are living their best lives. Who just decayed? No, don't tell me that. Uh, we need to put pinch of pepper nuts in here as well. Let's see. So that's going to be party nine. Yeah, and then the pinch of pepper nuts can go in here as party eight. Here you go. So hopefully those won't get wasted anymore. This is set to party nine. Yeah, that's all good. So this is where all the cooking happens and then all the cooked foods ends up in our freezers. We've got some chlorine rooms that we're keeping cool with some thermoregulators. I actually have two of them set up so it's two independent cooling loops in case one of them breaks. And I actually made the cooling loops independent this time instead of just having one loop for both of them. So hopefully we won't have any problems with food storage. The next step on the food pipeline is getting some pit branches up and running but I'm going to do that next week. But now I'm just focused on getting this oxygen up and running. Right, pipe's done. So let's actually cut this off and then just hook this up. There you go. And then that can just go like this. And I forgot to build the pipe here. Excellent. Good job. Uh, so let's actually uh, disconnect this again. Cancel these. And then that can just go like that again. Keep this running. So what I have here is brine is getting pumped up here. It's going onto this loop and I'm using these bridges to recirculate it. And then when it gets over a certain temperature, the shutoff will dump it over here on this other half where we're trying to melt all the ice. And that seems to be going pretty well because uh, most of the ice is now melted and we've got a real pile of jungle juice in here. We're eventually going to solve. Yeah, you're building all the automation wires now. That's good. Let's copy the settings across these smart batteries. You're going to do that. Type yes. That's good. Wait. That does not need to be igneous. There you go. That is fine. All right, speed it up. Any more Primo Garbs? Yes. Wolfrag is officially wearing one. Hold on. Snowfox, you're right here. You can have one. You are the official researcher, so you get one. Doesn't look better than the, uh, your blueberry jacket that you're currently wearing. Congratulations. And then, who else is nearby? Um, May, you can come have one. Enjoy that. We do need to get all these waste gases out of here. The Dash Assault Binds are trying their best. Congratulations, me. You have earned a suit. So, something I wish they'd add to the game. I wish they would add an Emperor's New Clothes Primo Garb that was literally just transparent, and then the dupe could just wear their normal outfit. But you get the Primo Garb bonus. I think that'd be nice. Because you, you, you get the filament and you unlock the cosmetic clothes or you get them from the loot boxes. It'd be nice to have a, a, a way of keeping them late game without like not having the bonus decor from Primo Garb. Right, this is done now. So let's disconnect this again. That can go over here. And then just cancel all this. And then that should fill up. So that's all going to drain out and then this bridge will prioritize refilling the loop. So because this, the pipe starts here and this bridge and then goes to this one, it will always prioritize recirculating the loop over refilling it. So that way we never end up with too much liquid in the pipe. And that will keep all of this cool. And I'm only cooling the oxygen because I don't really care about the temperature of the hydrogen. Right, so now we need to... Yeah, that's out of power. That's expected. 
set this to 10 and 90 so that it doesn't Thanks overflow on power. Thank you very much for following Albanea. Me and Whiskers do appreciate the company. Enjoy your fishy emotes. You may now spam fish and frogs on people's channels. I'll tell you what, actually, now that we've got the, the camera where it is for now, you get a much better view of the frog tank. And something I've learned is that the frogs will actually come over and investigate my fingers if I wave them. We got a fish in the frog tank as well. They're not a frog. <laughs> they just they just like hanging out with the frogs. Alrighty. Let's go back to the game. So let's see. Uh, there is some debris in here. It's just rock. I don't really care. Uh, build it up one more level. Uh, we do need to fill this with liquids. I think I'm just going to sweep and dump bottles in here. I think that's what I'm going to do. So, salt water, let's see. We've got a large amount of brine over here, not a large amount. That's a decent amount of brine. Right, come sweep this up. And then we'll take that brine, we'll put that in here. Is it salt water or brine at the bottom? It's brine. Okay, that's fine. You only need a little bit of liquid down here. Uh, we'll do this one first. Oh, that's why I left this tile here. So we can actually get in here and do this again. Yeah, you're going to get to see me set up one of my normal spawns. I actually did a YouTube video about this. Um, it's not the normal design. But I like doing I like doing the flooded electrolyzer. It makes it very easy to just store up large quantities of the gas for when you need it. And it means this doesn't overpressurize. So it's very easy to tweak it however you want. It's very compact in terms of space. You don't need to pump on every hydrogen thing. You can actually set them all up in one thing together and have one pump. But it's all automated anyways, so the power usage is fine. And this way, if one breaks, I can work on it independently to all the others and still have some partial oxygen production, which I thought was very important on this run, especially because of all these mouth breathers. Mouth breathers suck. It's weird. I feel like mouth breathers should be a difficulty option instead of a dupe trait. Like the 200%, like the extra calories and stuff. I guess bottomless stomach isn't as bad, but there is a difficulty setting for calories. But there's not a difficulty setting for oxygen, which strikes me as weird. All right, more Primo garb. Everyone gets to wear this. Who's nearby? Sertor, you get one. Here you go. We do still have some dupes uh, with names up for grabs with the channel points. We have a May, we have a Frankie, and we have a Turner. Congratulations, Sertor. Oh, I'm still annoyed about this. I haven't built a massage clinic in ages, or a massage table in ages. And for some reason, I thought the medical buildings wouldn't block it from working. Nobody comes in here anyways. I just wanted someone to shovel these buildings. Yeah, we're not drywalling anything else. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's actually set this on priority seven. Let's drywall this shaft, because eventually, A, we're going to be sending stuff to the teleporter, and B, this is eventually going to be part of the base. So that can all go here. But only do that if you run out of other things to do. What are the priorities? So that's priority nine. This is priority nine, but no one can reach it. Yep. So that needs to be priority nine as well. And at this point, I might as well ladder all the way down here. We've been doing a good job melting all the ice, I guess. Speed up. Uh, we need to set these priority nine so anyone actually delivers oxygen or filtration medium to these. The hydrogen pressure is so high that this isn't running, which is fine. Everyone is enjoying their coffee on the kitty kitty carpet. You know, good time to have coffee in the morning, although you're going to go to sleep immediately after this because of the schedule, so perhaps not the best plan. Very loud dupes. May is very excited to be on the phone. Sadly, we do not have a dupe on another planet at the moment, but we'll change that eventually. That's not really a priority at the moment. 
You've still got all this digging to do as well for the, the, the area. So the thing about mouth breathers is you basically have half the amount of labor you normally do, the amount of oxygen you're producing. So it just takes longer for everything to get done, which is fine. You know, so it looks like she's high on caffeine. Oh, yeah, you know it. <laughs> We've got a tree in every uh, in every room. We're currently consuming all this polluted water to try and do this. These two hooked up to the bathrooms, though. Uh, you know, this is a low priority. You shouldn't be doing this unless you don't have anything else to do. That's fine. May is just enjoying getting the lumber. Which lumber do we have now? We have 80,000 lumber. Well, we are going to go hard on ethanol distilleries later but maybe we can make that a priority one do, 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 do. Here you go i do not really care about the lumber to be honest i just wanted to give everyone a tree because it's in the youtube thumbnail <laughs> we'll eventually use it but not now oh how's plastic going we got a little bit more plastic i will start giving everyone comfy beds who's nearby uh, you've already got your suit. Uh, let's give one to Leofar. We interrupt your current Draco attempt to give you a suit. This will help you. This will help you blend in with the Dracos by looking like looking so ugly that they don't want to look at you. I don't know. How are these doing? Oh, so this is something I wanted to show you guys as well. This is how we're refining all our metal at the moment. So, we have our Draco room, which is hot. Regular Dracos like it hot. Um, it's not too hot for the dupes. We have a thermo sensor set for this, so this room never gets too hot. But what we're doing is we're pumping the polluted water. The cold polluted water from the map goes in here. And then we're refining our metal. And then the hot polluted water goes into these pinch of peppers. Because they like it hot as well. And then that deletes the hot water by feeding it some pinch of peppers, which are very low mass. So, yeah. We got a glossy Draco. So we got a glossy Drecklet. That shouldn't be in here. Well, I mean, eventually they should come in here if we're wrangling them from across the map, but you shouldn't have hatched in here. So let's wrangle you and put you here. And then this should be set to Glossy Dracos at... Oh, yeah, just the adults at priority six. Sounds good. Right, that has been tiled up. I'll just do this one at a time. Uh, we need to deliver the stuff in there. I did tell you to sweep something ages ago, but you probably collected all that now. <sighs> yeah, you dumped all the brine again. I am telling you to dump all the brine, so that makes sense. But... Can you not? I don't want fifty I don't want a hundred kilograms of brine either. Oh fine, we'll just get some salt water. Sweep this up and I'll actually watch you guys do it this time and then we'll dump this in the electrolyzer to flood it. Or not flood it, but submerge it. You don't want to dump too much liquid in there or you will flood it and it won't work. Uh, I just noticed we sealed this teleporter off as well. That's probably fine. I think I actually just want to let some of the hydrogen up here. We have so much hydrogen pressure now, I don't mind actually extending the shaft up here a little bit. Eventually we want it to go all the way up into space. Right, that'll do. So, take this, move that here, and then take, uh, is there another big one? Yeah, that'll do. Move that one here, and let's make these yellow alerts so that I don't forget about it. There we go. Sounds good. And then you can tile this as well. Then you can tile this as well, and then we'll start on this one.
Yeah, that's fine. Fill this room with hydrogen now. Oh, uh, this vent will obviously no longer work. So we'll need to send this over this way. And then vent it here. That is for the non-hydrogen gases, which we shouldn't get very many of. So deconstruct this as well. Right, you can actually reach these. Empty this as well. And then empty this. I've got a liquid on each tile just so that in case there's a heavy gas, it doesn't just push the liquid out of the way. And then we'll actually go and grab the rest of the salt water. So I think these are all a little bit smaller. That's fine. So now that's sealed up, that one can go there. And then, what about... This one will do. You don't need a huge amount, you just need enough of it that it doesn't get destroyed by the gas coming out of the machine. So, yell at this too. And then we can just dump some water in here, and there is just some free water flowing, floating around, so it's fine. Yeah, that's all fine. So, water. Liquid phosphorus? <laughs> I mean, we could. Now, who's ever made a flooded electrolyzer, a submerged electrolyzer with liquid phosphorus? I mean, the electrolyzer is going to be at 70C most of the time. It shouldn't freeze. But we are cooling down the room, so it's probably pretty irresponsible. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. Any big bottles of water? Probably be a few more elsewhere. What am I even looking for? Yeah, because we can, uh, that's six kilograms. That'll do. So move that here. Dump that on top. And then any other big water bottles? No, these are all little ones. The water isn't very viscous, it's kind of hard to get a big water bottle unless you're trying for it. I don't want to do ethanol because that'll just boil. Uh, maybe here? Although that's taking ages to lower and level, so maybe not. You could sweep this up. That could work. Oh, wait, this makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. You'll get a big one doing that. I mean, do that anyways, because we want to get rid of all that water. Right, speed up again. Empty this. And then empty this as well. Empty this. Do my bidding. There we go. So now we have we have two tiles of salt water at the bottom and two tiles of water at the top. They're covering the electrolyzer, but they're not flooding it because the mass is too low. Now we just need to get a big water bottle to put down here as well, and then we can actually seal this off. We can seal this one off already. So I can go there. Uh, if I just get you to do that, that should be good enough. Oh, you're all on break now. Fair enough. What are you all eating these days? You've still got some meal ice left in the fridge that you're not eating, which is really good. That's a sign that we're actually producing enough food for everyone. Barbecue stocks are rising. That is also good. We have, a, we have an escaped Dreco. They need to be wrangled. 
Glossy Draco is in here. That's good. <laughs> we got an imposter. We got an imposter balloon. That's fine. Uh, you do need to prioritize these digs. So we can build this oxygen pipe. Otherwise, you're not going to be very efficient. Uh, we got another confetti suit. Frankie, this is yours. There you go. Enjoy. Right, you did that water bottle. Uh, so... Yeah, that'll do. It doesn't matter if there's a higher mass of the lighter liquid. Um, it will still rise to the top. The liquid physics in this game is kind of wonky. <laughs> but that's okay. And we'll need to start this up a little bit. I'm probably just going to start it up with these other hydrogen generators and use those to do the initial bit of pumping for these. I don't want these guys to be running on any wheels at this stage. Yeah, open this one up. And then we can just finish this off. Pretty confident we have everything in here. Yep, there we go. There's a little bit of slime lung on the liquid, but that's not a problem. There's slime lung everywhere here, by the way. <laughs> we let the cat out of the bag. We have not dealt with it. I mean, we have dealt with it, because... We have wheeze warts in front of these liquid locks. So A, the germs are stopped by the liquid, and B, if any germs get through from them carrying anything through, the radiation from the wheeze wart will immediately destroy them. So we haven't had a case of slime lung yet. It's all good. We built all this pipe. You can't quite reach this. That's fine. Uh, yeah, come down here and build all this, and then you can reach that. Yeah, so each of these spawns will produce 888 rams of oxygen per second each. And the gas pipe capacity is 1,000. So usually, you're going to need one gas pipe per spawn to supply all the oxygen everywhere. Let's speed this up. Temperature-wise, we've cooled all this right down with the with the brine. That's good. Radiant, the radiant liquid pipes doing work. Even as lead, they're doing work. It's good. We have a little bit of aluminium, but I can think of better things we want to use that on. Right, you're now getting some oxygen here. I don't believe this will be so much that it pushes the hydrogen out. This will just help you finish these things off. The artist at work. You never picked up your suit, did you? Wolfrag, you got a suit. Here you go. And then someone else gets one as well. Leophile's already got one. I'm just going to start giving these out alphabetically. There you go. Accidentally, <laughs> I accidentally gave Yosa Wolfrag's suit. That's no good. Enjoy. He's Yosa with a balloon. Give me the pod. What's in the pod? Anemic, lovely. Oh, I'm glad I didn't do an all anemic run. That would have been annoying. It's more algae, I guess. We're not allowed to take any dupes that aren't mouth breathers. Them's the rules. Very close to getting this finished. It's always very satisfying to turn these on. Right, that's all good. These are all set to below zero, so we just turn them on manually. We didn't get any liquid in these airflow tiles anyway. No, that's good. This is what it should look like when it runs. All the oxygen should end up going down, and all the hydrogen should go up. And if you build it this way, you don't actually need to prime it with the correct gases, which is another reason why I like this build compared to other builds. So I tried doing something slightly differently on Rhyme Revenge, and we needed to prime that. And it wasn't too annoying, but like... 
it's a knock against it. Turner, you don't have any suit training yet, do you? I love these paintings that we've unlocked. I'm so glad that you can actually refund your duplicates now. You guys all still getting table salt? You are, that's very nice. God love table salt. I thought that was a fried egg for a second. That was just Neo's hat. Now, Turner sadly does have allergies. We made some allergy medication though. We made a hundred? I don't think we meant to make that much. Okay, whatever. <laughs> All the ingredients we got are renewable, so that's not a problem. I bet you just took every single blossom seed. Yeah, I think I just took every single blossom seed and turned it into a into a pill. Whatever. Turner is eventually going to go on another planet, but I wanted another dupe more than I wanted to project to allergies guy. Oh, right, look at these. These salt lines are doing work. I love salt lines. So, in terms of power, if I want to temporarily hook these up, then I'm just going to have to go like this. And then I'll turn this one off temporarily just so we have some more power. We are producing more oxygen than we're consuming again for now, so we can have a little bit of a break. I'm honestly surprised that we didn't get another mouth breather to print today. Maybe we still will. There is time. I'll be on for another hour. It's still erupting, that's good. You guys still can't reach this. Oh, you can't get through here, can you? Ugh. Well... Oh, uh, that's dormant now anyways. Just dig this ice. There you go. Right, this is actually sealed now. Um, I'm going to put a vent here just so we can vent these. Oh, yeah, we need to vent these, yeah. Uh, gas pressure is relatively high down here, so I'm going to put some high-pressure gas vents on these as well. And I think I'm just going to... Oh. <laughs> I was going to put one here for this one. That's not happening. Whatever. Thanks for the follow. We're almost ready. Thank you very much for the follow, Arthur Brostig. Me and Whiskers do appreciate the company. Enjoy your fish and frog related emotes. I'm very much looking forward to turning this on. Getting some more oxygen. You gonna build all these now? Yes, you're gonna make them out of lead. That's fine. Any more suits? We got one more suit. Uh, Jeffrey McSquilliam. I'll tell you what, Jeffrey, your name is so fancy, I'm surprised that you didn't get the first one. Hmm. There you go. I almost feel like Jeffrey should get a classic cummerbund instead of, instead of the confetti suit that everyone's wearing. Almost. I just like all my dupes wearing the same stuff. I don't know why. I, I, I like it being a, each colony having its own unique uniform that is unique to the colony rather than to the dupe. Right, so that's connected there. So we'll need to vent this out first. Uh, so... We'll do that. We'll disable these. To start. And these rooms do vent pretty quickly. The pressure is pretty high, but that shouldn't be relevant. Yeah, any minute now. I love these puffed suits. I'll tell you what, no one's redeemed the puff moment. I feel like I need to a puff takeover. 
I got that puffed ages ago. Where is he? Oh, he's right behind the chair, isn't he? Hold on, I need to disable all this stuff. Let's see. No, not chat. There he is, you can see him in the corner. Oh, my microphone's in the way now. There he is, right there. I got the puff plushie. Right, let's do this. Uh, plug this in here. We'll just vent this one first. Set this to above zero. Set this one to above zero. And then uh, flip these for now, I guess. Actually, you know what? Just run them together. You've got a bit of extra power because you've got these jumbo batteries to fill up as well. So we've got a little bit of extra power stored up just to get this lot done. There's definitely no gases coming out here, are there? Oh, right, yeah. I should have fixed that. I deconstruct to reconstruct this. You got some damage. I think that's from earlier. That's fine. Uh, let's set this to off for now. And let's set this. Turn these off. Keep running those pumps. So you can see the pressure should go down pretty quickly with how many pumps we have in this space. It will be good. Oh, I left some. I left some of my drink here. There we go. You can see this one's practically already drained. So when the pump pumps, it actually pumps the tiles in across like this. So this one and this one are going to drain, but they're down to micrograms now, so that one's done. These are going to take a little bit longer, but not too much longer. Turn this one on again in a minute. I'm going to keep on speed too. You guys still have loads of digging to do. Just like loads of random digs. Like, you guys definitely will just find random tasks to do once you come off your break. Get out to milligrams, that's good. I'm sad, I never drywall these. Maybe I should drywall these in future. Drywalls we got. That would be good. We could put some snowflake print down here to try and coax the oxygen into being cold. Yeah, down to micrograms in here now, that's good. Yeah, where's all the slime lung? <laughs> it's everywhere. It's everywhere over here. Let's get out of the bag. Strawberry watermelon for hydrogen and blueberry for O2. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, so that when the rooms are empty, you can still see what's supposed to be in there. That is a good idea, Hiatus. All right, we're done? Yeah, just get the last little... Oh. No, 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 no. Hold on. Uh, I forgot to turn this off. Ooh, hiss. Oh, well, that should bed very quickly. That wasn't even a lot of gas. Yeah, look at that. World's quickest pump. And then we'll just connect the next one. I do find it very satisfying just watching the gases just, like, creep into here. Okay, so let's see. So that's all turned off for now, so that means we can just connect all this stuff as well. Uh, this is set to... Needs to be set to the same thing. And then I'm just going to set this to above 20,000 just so it doesn't accidentally trigger again. There you go. Speedy up -y. The 
what are you guys doing in the meantime? Are you just, are you just digging? Oh, you're, di you're doing this dig. Okay, that's good. You know, go down here. Oh no, you can't. There's some snow. Nobody likes snow. Get it out of here. Oh, you're grabbing all the liquefiables from this room. That's kind of hilarious. I mean, you should probably be doing, I don't know, some digging instead. Maybe. Any more suits? Yeah, we've got three remaining suits for three dupes. So you can have the... There we go. We did something else today as well. Any more glossy Dracos running around? Not by the looks of it. How much ceramic have we got now? We've got five tons of ceramic. That's pretty good. I feel like the Wheeze Warts are succeeding in keeping this bit cool. This is getting very hot. But this thermosensor is okay. That's what I'm that's what I'm mostly concerned about. Right, how much gas we got left? I'm just gonna watch this go all the way to zero. Maybe. These pumps don't actually provide uh, produce any heat. That'd be kind of weird if they did. But I think liquid pumps produce heat. No, they don't. Well, they're... Oh, they do. They produce two KDTUs. And the gas pump does not. I mean, I guess it makes sense because when it gets to a very low gas, it's just not going to have anything to conduct heat with and it's just going to overheat. And that'd be a very silly design. <laughs> Also, look at look at like how it actually looks. It looks kind of funny, doesn't it? Look like the little hood that brings it in there. It's got these things that just like go up and down. I'm beginning to think this is perhaps not what a real gas pump would look like. Right, you all done? You're all done. Excellent. Get all this stuff out of here. Right, the moment of truth. Let's save it. And we'll activate the spawn. So... These batteries are hooked up to this power, so I can disconnect this and this should have enough power to still run. Uh, so then I just need to flip these, so... Produce... So electrolyze water until there's 9 kilograms of oxygen in here. And then these pump when there's... Um, Yeah, send green signal if above 2,000, yeah. Because that way we'll make sure that both of these pump out a reasonably sized packet of air. That should be below 9,000. Yeah, because then if there's 9,000 in here, then it will stop producing more oxygen. And then this can be set to above 1,000. Make sure this pump runs efficiently. So now for the moment you've been waiting for. Three, two, one. Boom. The hydrogen comes up here, the oxygen comes down here. And it all sorts itself out. No messiness. And it will just pressurize in here until, uh, well, forever. Because <laughs> gases don't seem to cause pressure damage. And that's how you set up a submerged electrolyzer. You just make sure that you've got enough of the liquid so that the... Um, the liquid never moves out of this tile. But once these once these rooms fill up a little bit, it's very difficult for them to get any of the wrong gas in them. Just because of how the gas mechanics work. Right, so now I need to disconnect this vent. This needs to go back in here. That needs to be priority nine. These need to be reactivated. And then this needs to be disabled. And then I actually need to actually get the pipes reconfigured. So, let's see. So this one is going to go to the vents instead of to this one. So that's going to come down here. So, that's all fine. And then these two 
One of them is going to go to just the suit docks. And then the other is going to go to just the events. So I guess... Something like this. Yeah, because that one's going to the vents on the other side of the base. So that can just go in there, that can just go like this. And then I can remove all the other pipe. Seems good. Yeah, remove this, remove this, remove this. Actually, hold on. Oh, yeah, no, just do that. That's fine. And then... I need to put more vents over here, then. Vent, 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 vent. Oh, ladders. Remove the ladders. Yeah, that's okay. Speedy up being... Oh. <laughs> You're all a break, so none of this is getting done. Excellent, good job. Uh, how about you just don't pump for now, then? I don't really feel like emptying all this oxygen out. You're out of power? Which hydrogen you got in here? Yeah, you just need to turn this on. We have some hydrogen in the pipe. This one doesn't have any hydrogen in the pipe. Boo. Boo hiss. I guess uh, for now, recharge. Plug these in too, just for now. Just for now. I'm sure you guys will fix all this stuff very quickly. Gang's all here. Yeah, I'm glad we managed to get rid of the slime lung there. That's good. We don't need another tile there, I don't think. You guys should come and do these toggles pretty quickly. Uh, I think there's a suit that needs to be- oh no, that's- that's, uh, the snow fox's suit. You're an eager beaver. It's fine. Yeah, there you go. And then you need to do this pipe immediately. And then this one- yeah, that's fine. We'll just connect that with the pliers tool. Mm-mm-mm. Who is coming to do that? That is Turner. Who is here? Waddle, 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 waddle. I should build a gym for these guys. Where am I going to put that? I could put that down here, maybe. No. I'm going to put that here. That's what this is going to be. This doesn't need to be a room. That is the last thing we'll do today. Because it might be nice to train some individual dupes. Like, not everyone, because there's so much stuff to do that I don't want everyone doing that. But if there's, like, one really slow guy, then I can make him go in there instead. Alright, that'll do. Easy peasy. Those batteries are all set correctly. You guys should be swimming in oxygen now. Good. How many guys are suit trained now? Neosa, you can have... Let's get you suit training as well. Soil Eater. Oh, Soil Eater, you get doctoring level 2, just in case you need to make some medical packs. Uh, let's make... Wow, we can make a lot of these. Let's make 10. There you go. 
already. So let's have a look at the priorities list. So you've got some priorities over here. Not too much building going on. I think it's just digging priorities at the moment. So those are set to eight. Set these to eight as well. I want room for the hydrogen to expand. And let's dig this out because this is where we're going to put the gym. It doesn't need to be a room, but I'll just put a door here so I can control access permissions. <laughs> I'm going to have to move this eventually. I don't know why I put it here when I knew I was going to put some doors in here eventually, but whatever. This The gym does not need to be a room. Now I just need to reconnect these pipes. There we go. There we go. Everything is right. Now we get to watch the pipes go through here, and they've got lots of nice, cool oxygen. And that should stay nice and cool. And we do need to let a little bit more of this erupt. That's going to erupt in 19.3 cycles. There are some more cold polluted water over here. That is kind of melting all of this polluted ice at the moment. Once we get to the bottom, I'm just probably just going to drain this out down here as well. I think that makes sense. Two principles? What we got? Ah, uh, look, we did get another mouth breather. Ooh, this guy is a this guy is a weirdo. Um, rocket tree building, super hard digging, caregiver. You know what? That's probably fine. We could probably use a backup doctor. I don't like rocket tree. I just don't think the skill does enough. But then again, I don't think I ever get to the point where I actually use it. So maybe that's why. Ooh. Oh well. Pretty good dupe. I mean, I mean, Mouth Breather sucks, but that's all we're taking this run. So we got a Burt. Number 12. You can have building. And you can have the digging out. And you can prioritize building and digging, I guess. And then a little bit of these. Enjoy. Oh, we'll need an extra Snazzy Student Primo Garb for you now as well. That's fine. Make one of these, and then another one of these. This is cooled down again, that's good. There's so many babbies in here, that's fine. I want babbies in here. Right, this room is getting cleared out, that's good. Stick that there. It's so funny how this pinch of pepper plant is preventing me from putting a tile here underneath this one. Hit it. Uh, let's make this all eight as well, because next stream, we're definitely going to do the pit branches. Once I've had a little bit of time to actually prep build. Because I haven't done that in a while, and I think the old build I did could definitely be improved upon. So speed it up. It's so satisfying watching all of these things work together. So this is going to be enough for about 18, 17 dupes with Mouth Breather. That's rough. But we've got room for one more over here. This takes up, what, 9 by 11? And if we put a ladder in between just for access and maintenance. Yeah, that's pretty good. We won't need more than this, because we're not going to go above, say, 25 dupes on this asteroid. If at all. Who knows? But I'm determined to not overextend myself, because that's what I always do, and that's why I've always that's why I pick mouth breathers. <laughs> so that I don't. So, what are the next objectives? So, food is stable, but we could do better. Once we've got the pips, the food should start increasing. And then, we will want to finish this off, actually get into space, get some solar panels, and start doing transformers. 
Now, in terms of the Transformer Spine, I'm pretty sure that's going to go... Oh, you know what I was thinking of doing? I was actually thinking of just putting the Transformers in the middle of the map. So maybe we do just have these spawns here and that's it. Max out at 16, 17 dupes. Because there's a nice big column here we can just do Transformers down. And then that can have the heavy watt wire in it. And then everyone else can just have conductive wires. Seems okay. The Majestic Grub Grub. Circuit overloaded. Which one? Probably this one. I should probably conductive wire that at some point. Uh, you know what? Let's make this priority 7. I would prefer if you just dug all of this. I guess I have given you each lots of different tasks to do. It just doesn't seem like you guys are prioritizing digging very much anymore. Yeah, everyone's a priority 1 for digging and everyone's got something else they can do. Oh no, now you're coming in here. Maybe we should just be patient. Yeah, deconstruct that, and then in terms of what we're actually going to do, I don't think we're going to need a huge jet. So let's just stick... Let's literally just have two generators here, and then we'll put a lamp in up here. So... I don't need to be paused while I'm doing this. I can go here. Oh, I can go here. So no battery. So they'll always run on these. And then what I'll do is I'll use a cycle sensor here. And that will, in and that will interrupt these every schedule block. Now I did do I did do one of these where I actually hooked up the gym so that there was a power shutoff so dupes would run on it just when they felt like it and they would fill up the batteries in the power spine and when they were filled they'd still keep running to run the light so that worked okay look you don't need to do this yet or rather is that all priority nine yeah that's all priority nine I guess you can get a little bit of exercise turtle that's fine. I'll allow it. But I mostly just want you to clear these rooms now. This room having this little bit of neutronium here is super annoying. You used to be able to dig this with super productive dupes, but now you, uh, now you can't. So this is going to be a 97 tar room. Hold on, hold on. No. It's going to be a 99 tile room, and then we'll put the door and the tile here for the pips, and it'll be 96. So we need to think about how these rooms are going to be laid out. I was thinking of doing a dropper design, but honestly, I might just do one of these flooded depot designs. It means we don't have to mess around with all the doors. I think it makes sense when you've got a relatively low quantity of critters that you're ranching. Where's the last suit? Here it is. I love how everything that gets made in this block just gets dumped here. It's very convenient to find stuff. But you have earned your suit. You have not done very much, but you've earned our trust. Right, so this needs to be set to... Oh. Wrong cycle. We want a timer sensor, not a cycle sensor. Boo hiss. Right, let's check out the colony report. What are you guys actually doing? Compound medicine, fabricate, dig, cook, ranch, ponder. Yeah, this is just what I mean about the lack of labor. Like, there's enough stuff going on in this colony now just to keep everyone alive that there's relatively little energy being invested in digging. Not ideal. What are you up to, Whiskers? 
I need to trim these plants as well. They're getting a bit mad. Whiskers is just having a little noodly, noodly session. Come back, Whiskers. You stop now that I call around it. No, 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 there you are. Come over here, Whiskers. Say hi. See, there's Whiskers. Hello. You like the fingers. Super productive. Who's super productive? Yeah, go for it, Neo. Yeah, we want a timer sensor here. Whiskers has been active uh, all day because it's been raining so hard. When there's a change in barometric pressure, weather loaches get all uppity because evolutionarily, um, that was the signal that there might be a bigger puddle that they can jump into. <laughs> so they'll leap out of their puddle and go wriggle across the mud to a bigger puddle. But I don't think Whiskers is going to find a bigger puddle unless something goes seriously wrong with the windows. Right, so now this is going to be set to green 24, red 1. And what that means is it will inter interrupt the dupes every schedule block. And then set this to priority 1. And then only allow... In fact, actually, who's got operating priority high? I think it's just Sertor. You know what? We could build some more of these. We could we could build we could build a few of these. I wasn't planning on using this space for anything else. If you all actually run out of tasks, you might as well work out. But I don't think you're going to. But yeah, the important context. When a dupe runs in a manual generator, they will earn attribute points towards athletics and machinery. So you can end up with a whole base full of 30 athletics, 30 machinery guys. Just by training them up and giving them all the skills. They don't have to start with any points. And believe it, when you have 30 machinery dupes, that's super useful when it comes to refining metal. They can refine metal so quickly. I did not pay attention to this. At all. That was very close to leaking all this polluted water in here. Can you imagine? Uh, where would that have gone? That would have gone down here. That would have actually been fine. Do we do that intentionally? Does that make sense? We have this pump down here that we were pumping to this, but now I'm just pumping it from up here. No, I don't think that makes any sense anymore. So, I guess just leave this for now. You can dig that one. The rest of this should be fine. Make that a party nine dig. Sertor is having some fun. Oh, we need automation wire for all of this to reset them. So we got 12 dupes. Let's let's make 12. This hydrogen ain't gonna bother anyone. And then because these are all generators, I don't believe they're gonna short the wire. Jeffrey, what do you want? Super hard digging. Frankie, you can have supplying two. Snow Fox, you can have supplying two. There you go. Yeah, all of our dupes have like consistently got over 30 morale now. A lot of them are in 40s. Soil Eater is on 48, living their best life. Yeah, you may as well just dig all of this. Then, drywall-wise, I'm going to make this all the mosaic as well, just to clarify that this isn't a ranch room. Here you go. Enjoy your drywall. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And then you just end here. 
That being said, there's Neutronium here, so there's no point really ending the room here, but whatever. We'll do it anyways. There you go. I love this. This is easily my favorite. Easily one of my favorites. I'm going to have to update that loot box. I'm going to have to update that cosmetics tier list video at some point. So, what's next on the YouTube channel? So, I do want to do that metal volcano, uh, that magma volcano tamer, the sandbox showcase. I'm going to do a video about the tech tree and the changes I make to the tech tree. Because I feel like how it's laid out is kind of silly. I think there's some improvements that could be made. Like, there's a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense. Like, why do you need radiation research to rotate a painting? Like, <laughs> I understand how this has ended up happening. It's like, I feel like there's ways to connect the text to make more sense as well. Because, like, we didn't, because we never went oxygen masks, we never had, um, we never ended up getting the canister empty attack. Which one is that? It's this one. Because it's completely disconnected from everything. Um, but by the time we actually needed it, um, it was super easy to research. So it didn't actually make a difference that it was on its own separate tech. And then there's stuff like... There's stuff that you need to get like super early. It's annoying to get to. Oh, I don't know. I'll talk about this in a video. So that video is going to come out at some point. And... I think that's the main thing I was thinking of doing at the moment. I think we'll end up on this cycle. We'll get this gym finished off. Oh, let's put some paintings in here. A, let's put some paintings in here. B, let's put some carpet down. So we can put the... Oh, we haven't got enough... We haven't got enough reed fiber for both of those. Let's just do the paintings for now. So how many tiles is this? There's 21 across. So that's just seven... Seven wide paintings. I like it. Nice. Yeah, put these in here. And then we'll just put two... Just put two aeropods in here to fill this little gap. I love aeropods for filling these gaps, one below the ceiling. Because you just need diamond and they just have a lot of decor on them, even without any plants in them. That's all fine. Yeah, finish all this off. You probably can't reach all of this. That's fine. I th no, that's not fine. We need this to be sealed so that we can actually get the... the uh, thing in place. So you know what you can actually do. Cancel this. Cancel this. I think you'll be able to climb onto these ladders. And then you can finish this all off. Yeah, there you go. I like how whenever this thing flips, the, the, the manual generators just all sink. It's like, Ew! and then you go back up. Like, Ew! Yeah. Can you reach these now? You built the ladders. Can you not climb across these? Can you not actually get on them? You haven't built the doors yet. That makes sense. It is just very satisfying watching dupes build drywall super quickly. Right. Can you reach this stuff now? Yes. Good. Oh, I have now realized the uh, issue with the sand. There we go. But if we release this sand, this is all going to flood down here. Uh, you need a priority nine this dig. You can do the same on that, that's fine. 
Yeah, have some oxygen. It's painting time. Wolfreg is on the paintings. Now, I think the only painting that makes sense for this room is the uh, the Bell Meep. That's the pinnacle of sort of gym aspiration, I think. Jeffrey McSquilliam is in here. It's okay, I guess. Set this to priority one. I don't want you to dig this at the moment. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hold on. Hold the phone. Priority one, all of this. Cancel this. We'll deal with this on Monday, too. We'll put all the pips here. We'll have one ranch for pips, one ranch for cuddle pips, and one drowning uh, zone. Although, realistically, we can just drown all the pips in here, too. This room doesn't have to be limited to Dracos. Interesting. There's La Belle Meep. The best painting for the gym. These will all be La Belle Meep. There you go. So, do that one, do this one. It's all hooked up with the wires, it's all good. Suppress notifications on this, because we're not planning on planting anything in here. There you go, Wolfreg figured it out. And then just put one more in here. We'll do one more cycle. Just one more cycle. So other things we need to work on, definitely the cool steam beds. Because we've got all this water down here. We've been desalinating the saltwater ocean, so the space biome is becoming a lot clearer for us to use. That's still the priority. Um, so maybe we don't worry about the cool steam beds for now. Maybe we... I think we prioritize getting this hydrogen up here. We'll move the hydrogen pump up here eventually, because this zone is cold enough as well. No mouth breathers, that's fine. Uh, I'll take I'll take three tons of sand, that sounds okay. But yeah, we'll go up here, we'll get solar panels, and we'll start doing power transformers, because we've got a lot of different power sources now. And we can do that with a regular heavy watt wire, and that wouldn't use a lot of refined metal either. Do you like the idea? And I would like to use oxyferns. I just don't know where. If we look at the gas overlay, so CO2 is building up down here. I think because we're pumping a little bit of oxygen down here, a lot of the CO2 is just getting forced into this crevice where the pips are. Which is fine. But I do kind of want to make this like normal base territory again. I want to put like some more bathrooms in, I think. Or maybe we don't even bother with that for now. Maybe we just schedule everyone. We have two different schedules. Let's do it. A schedule. And B schedule. We don't need the sleep schedule anymore. Uh, so, oh, look at that. We got a we got an early bird. We got them on downtime for the early bird time. So that's a sign that you're going on B schedule. Work, work, work. <laughs> um, let's see. So bedtime here and here. Downtime here. That seems good. And then, let's see. So, Turner, you can definitely go on there. And then, I guess anyone, and I guess anyone can do it. So that way, someone will always be up. That seems good. Yep, finish that. I think the screenshot will just I think the screenshot will just be all the all these things working together. Feels good. I feel like we need more than one artist. Nah, do it again. Do it again. 
I mean, to be honest, you're not doing too badly considering that like, you literally don't have any decorative skill. Maybe you've skilled up since then. Oh, you have gained two skill levels from all the decorating you've been doing. That's not bad. Could be better. Oh, look at Serdor. He's so happy. He's enjoying the gym. And a little bit of a workout and then he's slow to go. I feel... Okay, so hear me out. They should make an actual exercise kit for dupes. So they can train their strength. Like, like have them lifting weights and stuff. Like, make it like a big building where the dupe just, like, does, like pull-ups and like monkey bars and stuff that would be super funny they should make I, actually here's an idea they should make a building that lets you intensively train any skill or, or like they should make a building for each skill that lets you intensively train it i guess the ranching is already with the incubator kind of like the pulling thing for generating robots manually yeah yeah maybe like, let's, let's think about it. So, okay, let's not pause it. I want you to just come back. Come back. Right. So, piloting. That's really obvious. Have some kind of, like, rocket piloting simulator. It could even be that old astronaut training thing with the, with the rocket and the loop that I don't think ever got past the alpha. Just reuse that for pi training piloting. Construction. You could have some kind of Lego set or, like, some kind of box fortress. And they keep building and unbuilding. Um, excavation, you could have like a sand pit and you could have the dupes making sand castles. It would be so cute. You get to add all these cute animations to the game and it would let you like, it would let you train dupes. And obviously it would be, it would be a trade-off between having your dupes actually do something and skilling up. That's basically what this is already. Although Sertal already has 22 athletics. So they've clearly been doing well already. Like science, you can have like a chess set and dupes can play chess against each other. Or something. I don't know what cuisine would be. Medicine. Yeah, creativity. You can literally have like an art easel and a dupe could like paint like a subject. Like they could put like a random subject on like a table and paint it and then, and then scrap it afterwards or something. Man, someone needs to make a mod out of that. That is a thing that needs to be a, a real thing. Right, uh, are you redoing this one? I think I just told you to redo that. I can finish that one. You still haven't done that much of this digging. Yeah, there you go. You did that one properly. More skill points? No. The suspense. There we go. <laughs> it's all done. The perfect, perfectly aesthetic gym. Right, okay. Cool. What is the decor situation? We do need to um, sweep a little bit, but decor everywhere is generally pretty high. Trees actually have a lot of decor, which is another reason why I put them in this room. Um, yeah, not bad. Right, I'm going to save it here, and we're going to go wrap up and raid someone. If you're, I'm not sure who exactly we're going to raid. But let me uh, go to the close out screen. Oh, there we go. There's a there's a platy. Ah, uh, yes. Thanks very much for watching. It's been really fun. It's 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 been a heck of a week for me, to be honest, in real life. And it's just nice to play some video games. And I'm glad that you guys enjoy watching me play video games. I enjoy having you here. It's all good. Um, if you liked what you've seen, feel free to follow on Twitch, and you'll get a notification when I go live. I usually stream Mondays. Thank you very much. Hey, Zeus. Do appreciate it. Uh, I usually stream Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays for Oni. Um, sometimes I stream on different days, but it's very impromptu. Um, the best way of knowing for sure is to follow me on Twitch. But if you if you go to the Discord, 
you'll also get a notification when I go live. Uh, there are uh, discussions and builds and memes and things over there, and people do like to talk about Oxygen Not Included a lot. Oh my god, Whiskers, <laughs> Whiskers just got right up to the camera and farted on it. That's amazing. Excellent. Good job, Fish. Um... <laughs> There's the YouTube channel as well, where we post all the VODs. So Twitch deletes the VODs after 14 days, but that's rubbish. So you can re-watch everything there or find an old series to watch. We have played some other games on there, like Noita, Potion Craft, Dyson Sphere Program. There's all sorts of stuff on there. And I do tier lists for Oxygen Not Included, so feel free to check that out. But yeah, if you're still here from GC Fungus's raid earlier, thank you very much for sticking around. I do appreciate it. Um, GC Fungus is a good friend of the channel. And it's nice that he brought you all over here. So let's go find someone to raid. What is... what is the sitch? What's the sitch, Wade? Um, not really seeing anyone playing option not included. Oh, Julie Pixels is on. Let's go raid Julie Pixels. I haven't, I haven't said hi to Julie Pixels in ages. All achievements run in terror. Very nice. All ready. Get your best fishy emotes and fishy sentiments ready. Then we go say hi to Julie Pixels. In like ten seconds. Ugh. It's been fun. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye for now.